what's the kids? They don't get what Chicago gets. And again, this isn't Nico Hernandez selling 4,000 tickets for an eight round. This is a world championship card with a lot of exciting fights. So it's going to be wild. I wish we had six weeks rather than three. But I guarantee we'll sell the lot out. 6,000, five and a half thousand. And I'll say, I bet it'll be absolutely crazy. Okay, tell us more about the, the co-main event and the main event. I mean, you know, it depends which ones you're calling the co-main event, Clarissa. That's okay. Yeah. That's a good well, Clarissa's one. great. I mean, look, it's great to have her on the zone. She just hit massive numbers on Showtime. She's a character. She's a personality. She's entertaining to watch. And women's boxing right now, you know, you look at Vincent against Harden. That's arguably had as much headlines as Jacob Sterling and And Katie Taylor last week probably sold half the arena out herself. So, you know, Clarissa's right. And these women aren't stupid when they say equal pay this it's coming because <laughs> the argument will be well like Marissa Shields you, know, you don't think I have more value in this show than I don't know random rich yeah so they're, you know they're going to have a compelling argument sooner or later and they're brilliant to watch. Clarissa's brilliant to watch. And people, if you can tell her story, if you can get her out there, and Mark Taffet knows what he's doing, she's got a great chance to be a star. She really is. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, I know. That he don't want to fight. And he shouldn't fight. And actually, I'm so pleased that it's Dino and not Wendo because it's a really awkward situation where... And people say to me, why are you offering him fights? Because I've had to make him an offer to get him to turn it down. It wasn't like, I want to give him 500. You know, I saw reports of the million. No, it wasn't. It was 500. But you know, it was to fight for the WBA regular title. So there is a value to that. And whatever you think about the regular title and the super title, and I would prefer one champion, but it has to be, it's there to be fought for. You know, and it will put you in a good position within that governing body. So we'll see what happens with Char next week. You know, we've made this fight. It's three weeks' time. We tried to make the Equendo fight. We looked down the rankings. Bob Dan Dino was supposed to fight tonight. Greg Cohen works with him and said, look, we can pull him off. We put it to the WBA for the title. They'll make their decision this week on Char. He's failed the drug test. I mean, you know, yes. And then we'll see if they take the lids. But, you know, I, I, I like Jarrell's attitude. Since Chicago, I said to him, I think I'll get you on November 17th. It's now been three weeks and he's, he's kept at it he's kept training and really we wanted to announce this last Monday but because of the situation with WBA and it's, it's, it's been difficult and then obviously you know, the venue switch it's all been a little bit crazy but you know looking forward to it so if, if this fight is such as WBA title the winner will have to probably fight a pendulum or Trevor Bryan who's the interim champion yeah he is but at what point I don't know, and actually I think the WBA might have to say now, you need a fight. Because I, w I was also worried, like if you were in Britain, I don't think they'd sanction it when they'd be an for you. And I was, I was worried about that with AC as well. You know, you get to a situation where they go, no, we can't sanction it, yet, boxing for you. I mean, I saw him in Chicago, lovely man. I didn't even know him. I mean, like, you know, I know. So, but this, uh, you know, what I like about this fight is, we've had Dino in sparring loads of times, he will be trying to, he's like, he ain't, well, he's a good athlete, you see, he's, but he's actually, he ain't here to get paid, he's here to win, and that'll make a good fight for Drew, he's going to be tough to beat, I'm telling you, tough to beat. Yeah. I think he'll be the next manager. But again, the problem is when you have four belts, three of the main government bodies, is next is a WBO manager. We've just done a WBO manager in Quebec. So next is WBO. Dillian White's number one at the moment, so he'll be in. Yeah, December 22, that looks like that. Yeah. No, April 13. Yeah, I think it'll be Dillian's always good to go. We've got to win it first. Then you've got um, the IBF, which Pudev just won tonight. So he'll be after that. And then the WBA will be after that. So you could be talking about two years, you know, before you get a shot if you're mandatory. But with Jarrell, Jarrell's a guy who we would pick. Like, that could be a big fight. Can you imagine if Joshua debuted in America against Jarrell Miller in Brooklyn? 
I mean, that's a big fight. So he's the perfect guy, but he's also tough to beat. Right? He ain't an easy touch. People talk about his weight. That's, that's an asset to him when he can move like that, when he's got that fitness. You know? So. Last question, man. I'm giving you a what if if White lost, would you sort of Yes. Fight? Yes. That, I, I would say. I would say White is the favourite if Wilder doesn't take it late. But if White was to get beat, he becomes. I mean, even in the UK, a lot of people like UK fight fans follow up, follow boxing religiously. So what we're doing on the zone, UK fight fans are like, when's the zone coming to UK? But they follow all the guys, like all the zone cards are in the UK. And he's a big yeah Sky yeah on Sky. So, but if he came to the UK for a fight, he would get absolutely mobbed. You know. So yeah, I know. So yeah.